Welcome back everyone for another exciting video uh, related to the conversion reactor. In this video, we are going to learn how to define a conversion reaction in Aspen Hysis and finally how to simulate a conversion reaction. So let's move to the problem statement that we are going to solve today. Uh, it's related to the water gas shift reaction and uh, we already have solved this example for uh, dw sim for uh, comparison i am just putting the link uh, of the video in which i solve this problem in dw sim okay so after solving in aspen Hysis, you can compare the results so the water gas shift reactor uh, reaction <coughs> is actually uh, a gas phase reaction in which carbon monoxide reacts with steam and produce carbon dioxide and hydrogen and it's the famous reaction for production of hydrogen and uh, the heat of reaction is given uh, that is uh, around 41 kilojoule per mole so uh, feed consisted of uh, 55 k mole per hour carbon monoxide and 70 k mole per hour steam uh, enter into a reactor uh, at a temperature of one uh, sorry at a temperature of uh, 100 degree c and one bar pressure uh, the conversion for this reaction is given that the carbon monoxide is converted 80 percent so the carbon monoxide is actually the base component for our calculation so in this reaction it converted 80 percent into the product so in the end we will have to find hydrogen molar flow rate in the product stream uh, for this uh, uh, for this uh, uh, problem we are assuming that there is no uh, delta p there is no pressure drop inside the reactor and the reaction is a gas phase reaction and the reacting condition is isothermal so there is no heat uh, sorry there is no change in temperature uh, uh, inside the reactor okay so how we can solve this problem in Aspen Hysis that is the task that we are going to solve let's move to the Aspen Hysis well now we are in Hysis the first step is we have to define components and in our case the components are carbon monoxide carbon dioxide and the other two are uh, hydrogen hydrogen and the last one is water okay so CO and carbon dioxide okay now we define the components which are involved in the reaction next step is we have to select a fluid package on the basis of this fluid package uh, solver or the software will calculate or estimate the thermodynamic properties and here we are going to use ping rubinson as a property package next step because there is a reaction so we have to specify the reaction so just add a new reaction okay and uh, this is the conversion reaction so it's okay add a reaction after that close this window double click on it and introduce the component so the carbon monoxide is reactant that is reacting with steam and producing carbon dioxide and hydrogen so in this reaction carbon monoxide is reactant so i am using minus one as a stoichiometric coefficient and for steam also minus one and for carbon dioxide plus one and hydrogen plus one so here i have to press one okay so now the stoichiometry is okay you can see that the stoichiometry coefficient for this reaction is one 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 
okay and the conversion is given that is 80 percent for carbon monoxide okay so the base component it's already carbon monoxide and the reaction phase reaction is happening in vapor phase gaseous phase so here you can define conversion in two ways either as a function of temperature where c0 c1 c2 these are the uh, uh, constant and the t is the temperature at what temperature uh, uh, i mean is the temperature dependent so if you have the this information temperature dependent uh, function you can define it here but if you have a direct conversion number so just uh, put in front of z0 so the conversion is 80 percent just press 80 now the reaction is defined okay it's 80 okay so after defining the uh, reaction close this window now the next step is you have to attach or add this reaction into the fluid package okay now we are ready to build simulation for that go to the simulation environment and here go to the reactors and choose a conversion reactor from this uh, window and drop it into the uh, uh, flow sheet canvas so so double click on conversion reactor so i'm going to change its name so i will say conversion reactor okay and now it's time to define feed stream and uh, vapor product and liquid product liquid product okay and the final one energy stream okay after that just close this one and double click on feed feed stream so we know that feed is entering at 100 degree c temperature and one bar pressure so just from this drop down menu select one bar and the other thing here we do not have a total uh, 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 flow rate of this feed stream it's given in in terms of component uh, molar flow rate okay so how we can define in high seas so you will learn now okay carbon monoxide 55 and steam is 70 okay so for that go to the composition and from go to this bottom line select basis and change basis from molar uh, mole fraction to the mole flows okay close this one now the carbon monoxide that was 55 okay so write 55 now 55 k mole per hour and the steam was 70 k mole per hour let just confirm yes okay and the other two are the products so they are not present in the feed stream so just press zero zero and after that just press okay now the feed stream is fully specified and another thing it says that the reaction is happening at isothermal condition it means that the temperature of the feed stream will be the same the temperature of the product stream okay so for that we are going to define the vapor outlet product outlet temperature at 100 degree c and then liquid product temperature at 100 degree c okay so after defining temperature double click on the conversion reactor go to the reactions and uh, define the reaction set okay so as i just define the reaction now the simulation is fully converged you can see here okay because this is the uh, exothermic reaction if i talk about in terms of heat so to maintain the isothermal condition 
minus 1.80 into 10 raised to power 6 kilojoule per hour energy should be removed from the reactant system. And another thing you can see the all the product so all the product that is 125 kilomole per hour they are passing through the vapor product stream and the liquid product stream there is nothing so zero k mole per hour okay so the next step is to check either we have 80 percent conversion or not for that just double click on conversion reactor okay and go to the flow sheet okay so you can see uh, uh, go to the compositions and now you can see in composition carbon monoxide in feed is 0 0.44 uh, mole fraction and in product is 0 0.088 so how you can uh, calculate conversion from here for that just open calculator okay so uh, 0 0.44 carbon monoxide is entering minus leaving in the product that is 0 0.088 equal divided by the entering of uh, carbon monoxide into the system 0 0.44 equal so multiply by 100 so you can see that the conversion is 80 percent okay so another thing that was asked in the question was we have to find hydrogen molar flow rate in the product for that just close this one go to the vapor product okay go to the composition and go to the basis and change basis from mole fraction to mole flows close this one so now you can see that the hydrogen molar flow rate in the product is 44 k mole per hour so that's all for today's uh, tutorial and uh, the you should uh, uh, up, you should practice this uh, problem and also do it in DW sim and then compare the result uh, I already have comparison and uh, the results are exactly matching in both the softwares thank you very much for watching and uh, until next video take care bye bye